So you're thinking about moving to San Diego and you're figuring out, are you gonna be in the north part of the county or the south part of the county? A question that eventually almost everybody asks themselves and even within San Diego, it's fun and it's interesting how much that conversation comes up. North versus south, they both have amazing things about them, but there's data information that's really hard for people to get. I'm gonna bring it all to you, looking at different aspects of real life here in San Diego as viewed from the perspective of a local. I've been here for the grand majority of my life, lived both north and south, and so I'm gonna to bring to you in this video all of the detail that you want as you're making that decision. And if that's what you're looking for, well, let's go ahead and get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about life here, everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between, then this is the channel for you. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so you're the first to know of anything that happens here in the local market. I'm Dan Beer and every single day we get text messages, phone calls, emails from people just like you that are looking to make the move to San Diego County. And so if that's you and you're looking to make the move within the next nine days, nine months, nine years, we absolutely love it. So reach out, give us a phone call, send us a text message, book a Zoom, and we'll help you make that smooth move to San Diego. All right, let's jump in. And here are the categories that we're gonna cover comparing the north part of the county with the south. And that's gonna be golf, the beaches, attractions, the airport, uh, nightlife, restaurants, shopping, hiking in the mountains, and of course, just the pure beauty of the two areas. Also just talking about general lifestyle of North and South County, which even catching myself saying North and South County, the reality is those are words that we all use here locally, North County, South County, but there's really no such thing. There's only one San Diego County. Okay, but that's how embedded this whole idea is here locally of, are you in the North or in the South? And the reality is they both have beautiful lifestyle elements to them and they also both have advantages. So I wanna take you through them. And again, from the perspective of a local that's lived in a lot of different neighborhoods, a lot of different areas here, here um, across San Diego. So one last little thing. You might hear me talking about Encinitas, which officially is a city. La Jolla officially is a city, but you also might hear me refer to in San Diego when I'm referring to Encinitas. Okay, so I'm hoping not to confuse you, but I do wanna just emphasize, we as a county consider ourselves San Diego. While there's other parts of the country where, you know, I've talked to people, hey, where do you live? Oh, I'm in Massachusetts. What town? Or, you know, where in Massachusetts? They'll give you the name of some little town. Like, well, where's that? Turns out it's like eight minutes from Boston. Well, that scenario here in San Diego, that person would have just said San Diego. In other parts of the country, they tend, it tends to be a little bit different. So again, the language that we're used to, North, North County, South County, those are not official lines and markers, which in fact, I'll give you the line and marker I'm using. For South County, I'm using La Jolla on South. So anything, Del Mar being the first North County city or location when in the in the um, context of this discussion, okay. So you're going to hear that language a lot, and you're also just going to hear the language of "Hey, San Diego," referring to the whole darn thing, even though there's different cities within that space on an official basis. I hope that makes sense. Let's jump in, and why don't we kick off here? Let's just talk about attractions. So the attractions that stand out in North County, okay, the, from Del Mar on north. And we'll talk then about the South. Um, the first thing I wanna say about attractions is San Diego has a lot going on, okay? So it's one of these places where it's just interesting how much is going on. And the advantage of that, whether you're in the North or the South is there's a lot, there's a lot to do. The general disadvantage of it is it's not like some parts of the country where, you know, everyone's heading out to the official pumpkin patch experience or to the concert or to the game. That rather here there are of, there's just so many options. Now with that, when we're talking about North, the attractions that stand out are the Safari Park. The Safari Park located in Escondido. Beautiful, it's an extension of the zoo, which is actually in the south part of the county, but the Safari Park has more of like, well, they call it the Safari Park because it's basically trying to mimic an environment where they have tons of acreage and just wild animals. So you're talking rhinos and giraffes and 
and um, I, buffalo, I believe, but gazelles and you know this sort of environment of just wild animals that you would typically only see in the African plains, and they are not in they're not in cages, right? Or they're not in contained space, but rather in a massive space of hundreds of acres where it's meant to mimic an, um, a safari experience. It's a beautiful place, place we take the kids to often definitely a must visit and just a unique experience from an animal perspective versus any other zoo experience in the country so make sure you visit that safari park that is in escondido which what we refer to as north inland okay so that's a north inland neighborhood here in san diego um the next one that stands out of course is legoland legoland in carlsbad is just awesome it's uh it's a place that I would say kids, in my own estimation, probably up to about 12 years old or so, really enjoy. Um, it has rides, it has experiences, of course it has just loads of Legos where your kids can go and entertain themselves for hours just building and being creative. And then there's the Del Mar Racetrack, of course located in Del Mar. The Del Mar Racetrack is one of the most famed locations, one of the most iconic locations within the county, um, really anywhere in Southern California. And you've had some, you know, you name the horse that was at the Kentucky Derby, that was at Belmont Stick, and they were very likely also in Del Mar. The races take place in the summer. There are now are also fall races, just as it gains popularity. So those are three really, really great attractions in North San Diego. Now in the South, well, they have a lot going for them too there. In the south, we have Birch Aquarium in La Jolla, which is one of the largest aquariums in the nation. Beautiful place, tons of species. We have um, Balboa Park. Okay, so Balboa Park, think of it as our central park. And attached to Balboa Park, not only are there dog parks and fields and just people enjoying their day, but there's also a load of museums, the Museum of Man, the Natural History Museum, and of course the Science Museum, which I have childhood memories of. We take the kids there now all the time. Uh, the Science Museum is a really, really fun place. Uh, also the Hall of Champions, so all of the sports figures that grew up in San Diego. There is like our San Diego Sports Hall of Fame, essentially, all there in Balboa Park, and there's performances. There are plays that take out open or that take place open air. It's like you could definitely say that Balboa Park is the cultural center of San Diego County. So that's located in the south. So points to them. To points to the south. Um, Peco Park, the Padre Stadium. One of the best attractions, one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of baseball, that of course is located in downtown. Downtown itself is an attraction. I mean, there is so much going on there. The Children's uh, Museum is downtown. The Seaport Village is downtown. The Embarcadero with concert venues. There's a lot to see downtown. And then we have, um, of course, Mission Bay. Mission Bay you know, it, it's, it's, an, it's an attraction all onto its own because you'll, it's a place where you might go jet skiing, where you might go boating, where SeaWorld is located, or where you might gather with your friends and just do a bonfire. So Mission Bay is a huge attraction. And then Coronado. Coronado itself is, again, it's, yes, it's a geographic area, but in and of itself is an attraction um, due to its beauty, due to the just just the unique aspect of Coronado. You go there, it's you're like transported into like 1950s, just kind of really quaint, beautiful beaches, restaurants, um, bars. I wouldn't call it nightlife by any means, but just a really small town feel when just moments ago you were downtown in big city feel. So it has a really great contrast to it. If we're gonna give attractions to anybody, I'm gonna say overall, probably goes to the south. Um, now, if you're more of an open space person, you might give the, you might say, well, no, I would want to give it to the north because there's a little bit more open space going on over there. But I, I, I still think if we're gonna, you know, if we're gonna award it to the north or the south attractions, well, that goes to the south. All right, next on the list, let's turn our attention to the beaches. Beaches, there's no shortage of them. I mean, we have so much coastline across uh, San Diego County from north to south. It's ridiculous. Most places across the planet would beg to have as much coastline as we have with really beautiful 
like usable beach. Um, and so starting in the north, the ones that stand out for us, number one, Moonlight Beach. Moonlight Beach, which was actually featured in the Encinitas uh, video that we did, and if you can find that right here on San Diego Neighborhoods. Moonlight Beach is beautiful, and you see me filming there on that video. Um, that is a great beach in North San Diego, followed by, of course, Del Mar. To me, Del Mar might be the most beautiful beach in the county. It's just settled in this kind of right in the heart of this great little town. So between the beauty of the beach itself, the cliffs it's on, the view of La Jolla to the south, the view of Carlsbad to the north, and the cliff, right, so I've already mentioned the cliffs, but right behind you, you have a big grass lawn. So some people choose to be there, so if they choose not to be on the sand. And right behind that, you have shops and restaurants and bars and just a really, really great environment right behind it. So Del Mar, major points uh, for the north there on the beach side. And kind of if you move up the coast, you're gonna have Solana Beach and Cardiff, and there's more beaches I could be naming. The thing about them though is they're hard to get to. They're kind of tucked in behind these cliffs and you have to just know where to kind of make your way in through them. Um, but to me, the two premier beaches are gonna be Moonlight and Del Mar in North San Diego. Now, when we move to the South, South is gonna be a really, again, it's gonna be a different story just because there's so much accessible coastline. Coronado, one of the most wide open, beautiful, iconic beaches, probably in all of Southern California, if not the nation. You have um, Mission Beach, which then goes straight into Pacific Beach. So Mission Beach, which blends into Pacific Beach, is the longest stretch of continuous beach uh, coastline that we have. And there's this great boardwalk that's right alongside it. Great people watching, volleyball games going, soccer games going. You could walk to any number of uncountable just restaurants and volleyball, or excuse me, restaurants and bars and so on. And it's great. Now the downside of the, to that little area too is it can have a little, it could have a little, uh, you know, riffraff. That's a great name for it. So it's kind of a mix of a little bit of riffraff, a little bit of uh, locals, a little bit of families, a little bit of absolutely everything. But overall, when you're looking at just the quality of the beach, you definitely have to include it. And then that's gonna, as we move on north, that's gonna then go and merge into La Jolla. And when you look at La Jolla and the beauty of bird rock and wind and sea and La Jolla shores, which La Jolla shores being a really great surf spot, by the way, along with Tourmaline, which is in the Pacific Beach area, two really great beginner surf spots, um, and just the beauty of La Jolla. The beauty of La Jolla is hard to beat. So who do you give it to? You know, it's interesting because my favorite two beaches are probably those two that are up north, but there's so much more beach line in the south. That one's a toss up. I don't know, you decide. It's not like we're awarding trophies here anyway. So that's the way I see it. I think that one becomes really personal um, on the beach side. Let's turn our attention to restaurants and nightlife. What has more? How does it feel? What's the vibe? What's better, north or south? So starting in the north, it's just simply a quieter lifestyle. The north is kind of a collection of all these beach towns and then some inland suburbs that have their restaurants, have their nightlife, but it's gonna be different, okay? So we'll talk about the South in a moment, but think more beach bar, think more local. So when you're thinking about nightlife in, in the North, you could be at a little beach bar in Del Mar or in Encinitas or in Solana Beach. You might even be at a music venue like the Belly Up, which has had um, some amazing performances, bands you would be very well aware of that have played there, but it's this small little tiny kind of small town venue. So a lot of people love that. They actually prefer to live in the North because it has that quiet quaintness to it. It's not crazy. Um, like in the South, there is just some big time nightlife and we'll talk about that in a moment. So uh, this, the answer to this one is gonna be a huge personal choice on kind of what's the energy that you're looking for. But there is absolutely a uh, nightlife scene again in the north is just gonna be different, more of a local kind of neighborhoody feel. From a restaurant perspective, there's outstanding restaurants. Some of the best restaurants in the county are in the north. My favorite restaurant uh, market is located in the north. And there's some of the best chefs have opened up restaurants, whether it be in Carlsbad Village, Del Mar, 
and Sanitas. So plenty to choose from, but again, kind of that more sort of spread out sort of feel, not that walkability that just creates more nightlife in, in a, on a natural basis. Now, if we turn to the South, then yeah, look, you have locations like just starting with downtown San Diego. Downtown San Diego on its own is such a plethora of nightlife and of restaurants and bar scene and clubs, et cetera, that just on its own is enough to be more than all of North County combined. Not to mention that then you could probably say the same thing for Pacific Beach, which has loads of it, and then North Park, which has loads and loads of it. And so you have three huge centers of restaurants and nightlife in South County versus what you have in North County that from a quantity perspective, no doubt you have to give it to the South. And by the way, they have excellent, like high quality, amazing, all of those things, but also everything in between and rowdiness, right? So if there was a, put it this way, if there was a, if there was a bar fight where it's like, oh, the police had to show up and there was this crazy thing that happened at the bars, probably it was downtown. It was probably not in Del Mar. So the, who are you gonna give the points to on this one? Well, it depends. Do you want the big clubs and all of it going on and you know, uh, 200 restaurants to choose from? Or do you want some really delicious local spots and some great places to go grab a beer with your friends? So that would be North County versus that uh, busier, more bustling experience in the South. Now, what about shopping? So. Shopping, I think this one's more clear cut, frankly. So shopping, when we're talking North County, you have the Carlsbad shops and the outlets and there's the um, Westfield Mall in Escondido where you have certainly places where you can go and do some shopping, but I don't think there's any competition on this one. When you take into account UTC, which people think of as being in La Jolla, but is actually in San Diego, UTC is one of the most beautiful mall experiences that you'll have anywhere in the nation. I mean. This, is, this might sound ridiculous to say because I'm the type that would prefer to walk little, you know, authentic streets and some, you know, in just through Europe and kind of cobblestone and authentic, right? Authentic experience. But UTC has been renovated in a way where I enjoy going and just being there and having a coffee and looking at the shops. They have made it feel absolutely outstanding. Amazing restaurants throughout. It's, it's a great experience. Plus every high-end store you could possibly think of furniture stores that are unique and just fun to look at. And we can then pivot over to Fashion Valley, which was forever like the premier mall experience that's in the Mission Valley area. Again, right along the 8 freeway um, in South County. Fashion Valley, you name the brand, it's there, okay? It has everything, it has all of it. That was always the epicenter of shopping until UTC did its big renovation. And so now probably UTC number one, Fashion Valley number two. And then the South also has some shopping districts, particularly La Jolla, downtown La Jolla, and then downtown where there's a lot of great urban shopping. So I think you have to give that one to South County, absolutely, no matter what, like that, that they, they just have more of it going on. Um, before I even go on, I think I'm gonna reveal where do I live? So I live actually in North County. And the reason I just feel compelled to say that is we're giving so much to South County, but San Diego is the type of place where we make use of it all. And so people are attracted to, well, what are the suburbs? What are the school rankings? What are you know all these other elements that come into play? And North County is just a really, really wonderful place to live. And I just wanna make sure to throw that in there here really quickly, because we're gonna be giving a lot of points to the South when it comes to these kind of features and attractions well and it also shouldn't be surprising that was the center of the city right that's where downtown is located that's where our oldest neighborhoods are located so that's where a lot was developed and then the suburbs kind of sprawled out from there as san diego was developed all right let's turn our attention to a couple of outdoor activities let's go first hiking and mountains then we're going to pivot over to golf so two things i enjoy hopefully you enjoy there are two great things about san diego we have so much of it in the north, you have Potato Chip Rock in Poway. Awesome. Okay, so just that's probably the most iconic hike, I would say, in San Diego, where you have this beautiful, let's see if we get a photo of it up here in the video, where we have this, you have this amazing um, rock that just sort of hangs out over everything. It feels like you're about to just fall, right? Like it could crack at any moment. It looks like a potato chip. So Potato Chip um, Rock is... A beautiful hike in Poway. Iron Mountains, another great hike also in Poway. And there's 
definitely a plethora of uh, mountains. Or probably the one I do the most just on a daily basis, which is Black Mountain. Great exercise up and down. South has, again, it's just gonna have a little bit more um, because it does have the entire Mission Trails system. So Mission Trails, and would love to give you a look here at the location where Mission Trails is at. Mission Trails has a number of peaks. In fact, there's something called the Five Peaks Challenge where it had, it was, you know, starting with Cowles Mountain and there's four other peaks and people try to do them all in, the, in a single day. In fact, I have a Five Peaks Challenge coming up. What date, Mary? November 13th. Which would put us at about two weeks from now. So we try to do them all in one day. It's like a 12 hour endeavor. And then you also have the biggest, hardest, toughest, most feared mountains and also beautiful in San Diego County, which is El Cajon Mountain. So that's the one where if you want a real butt kicking, you go to El Cajon Mountain, 3,300 feet of elevation gain, hard 11 mile hike. It is, a, I mean, if you're training for something, you're gonna go there. And then Viejas, Viejas and under, I don't want to even call it underrated because anybody that's been loves it, but an underknown, amazing hike. It's awesome. I never discovered it until recently as I'm training for some bigger endeavors in the Andes and hopefully with just some big mountain climbing outside of California that I'm looking to do. So I discovered Viejas and it is awesome. Great elevation gain, great challenge. So that's a really good one. Overall, probably, you know, if you're looking to do the bigger stuff, you have to give it to South County, but some of the most beautiful is in the North. All right, let's turn our attention now to golf, staying with the outdoor theme. So here the North really does some catch up. Now there's beautiful golf all across San Diego County. It's year round, as we know, one of the great things about living here. Um, there are phenomenal public courses throughout San Diego County. Starting in Oceanside, you have Arrowwood. To me, a simple but really one of the best public experiences that you can have but of course if you want to stay on the public theme and want to go up up in price as well by the way you have Madeiras which is gorgeous you might not find a more a more beautiful more scenic experience than Madeiras which is in Poway and then when we jump over to Carlsbad this is the can't miss perfect in fact so darn good that the ladies PGA tour goes through it every single year and that would be Aviara so Three courses I would absolutely recommend on the public side when you're looking at the north in San Diego that you have to hit. And the north absolutely shines on the private side. Some of, San, some of California's best private clubs are all in the north. So Rancho Santa Fe being the hotbed of it, in that area you have the Bridges, which probably is leader of the pack in terms of just beauty and being pristine and you know, just it's an incredible experience from the moment you pull up to the valet first class. Um, on the pure golf side of things, you have the farms. And when I say pure golf, Bridges is going to have a lot of family elements to it as well and pools and so on. Well, the farms is for golfers. OK, so if you want the most pure golf experience, and I'm talking about a place where people like Xander Shoffley play, where people like Phil Mickelson will be found playing. You want to go and check out the farms. Um, speaking of Phil Mickelson, he's also a member over at Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club. Thing about Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club, by the way, here's a cool thing. That's where the original Pro-Am, um, Bing Crosby's Pro-Am, which now is, takes place in, in, in Pebble Beach, it started at the Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club. It is awesome. That is probably my favorite private experience. Having said that, to be a member there, you actually have to own property in what we call the Covenant of Rancho Santa Fe. So very exclusive. Um, and then you also have clubs like the Crosby and Santa Luz that are, go I mean, if they were in any other location, would probably be considered the prime number one club in and of, in and of themselves. So there is so much of it in the north. You probably have to give it to them. Now, the south, where they kind of rebound back quickly, is they have Torrey Pines, right, in La Jolla. So Torrey Pines just being this epic, you know, iconic location. The U.S. Open just came through. It has some views that are hard to beat, but there are people that say, and look, just frankly, maybe this, is, uh, maybe this is not what you're supposed to say as a San Diegan, but there are people that will admit when you have real conversations that if Torrey Pines weren't actually located on the cliffs with those views of La Jolla and you know up and down the coast, that for the golf itself, it would probably be a lot lower rated. In fact, I've heard a lot of um, PGA Tour players consider it among the least inspiring locations that they play on all throughout the year on tour. So of course the farmer's uh, insurance 
um, event comes through there every year with the PGA Tour. It is a, definitely still a place that you want to go play. Like when I'm down playing it here, I mean, we're also being really spoiled because we just have so many great courses across San Diego. Um, on the private side, you'd have to give it to San Diego Country Club. San Diego Country Club located over in Chula Vista. It is said to have greens that mimic those at Augusta, right? Where they play the Masters. So it's the, the greens there are said to be of equal quality or at least the closest of quality to there. Phil Mickelson, a local, and he, he, he would, well, I don't even know if he can play the Masters anymore with his move to the Live uh, Golf Tour. That's a whole nother topic. But to prepare, he was always known to go and putt at San Diego Country Club because those greens are just that good, that dialed in. So if you're a golfer, that's the scoop on golf. You're going to have to give this one to the north, no question about it. All right, guys, in closing, I'm just going to hit two more things really quickly. Number one is, to me, it's always, you know, still proximity, proximity to the airport, just being able to get yourself to wherever you need to go. So I always like to give you a view on just what gives you better airport access. Airport's located right outside of downtown San Diego, so there's no question that the south has better access to it. There is an airport in the north in Carlsbad, but it is mainly a private um, terminal airport for private flights. There are a few commercial flights that fly out of it to some destinations, um, such as Mammoth, but again, very, very, very limited, extremely limited. Um, if you live all the way in North San Diego, like Oceanside, then you might make use of John Wayne Airport, which is in Orange County. But as far as San Diego International goes, gotta give it to the South. And then let's just end here. General beauty, experience, what has more? And I'm not trying to, co I'm not trying to bail out of giving you an answer. This is a true personal choice. In the North, when it comes to the beauty side of it, there's a lot that stands out. All the inland valleys in the North are gorgeous. Okay, so if you were to make your way to the safari park that we mentioned earlier, it's ridiculous. Okay, it is it's so beautiful what those hills look like and those valleys. It is so, so, so pretty. You can go hiking there. It's awesome. The coastlines, just all on these cliffs that just spill right onto the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Del Mar is a town, I think is one of the prettiest towns in all of San Diego County. So in the south, look, you have, there's just so much going on. You have La Jolla you have Coronado, you have Sunset Cliffs, and you have um, Point Loma, Point Loma, which we haven't talked about, but it's beautiful. It is absolutely a gorgeous area. And then of course, all the inland areas in the South are really, really wonderful too. And frankly, look a lot like the inland areas in the North. So what you go with, I think um, beauty's gonna be in the eye of the beholder on this one, particularly as you kind of zoom out of just those features, but of what day-to-day -day life looks like. San Diego is going to be a little bit more urban and North County is going to be a little bit more suburban and there's a flavor for everybody. So that one's going to be for you to choose and judge. And just ending with that, just the general energy of the two areas. Um, one definitely has a little more hustle and bustle to it and that being the South and the North has a little bit more peace and you know, not as many options on things that do specifically as far as, you know, bars, restaurants, shopping, etc. but a whole lot of community and local flair that you're gonna find in the North. Some of the highest graded uh, schools that you're gonna find anywhere across the county. And really these all become personal uh, decisions based on where are you in your life and, and with the things that you value and how you wanna experience San Diego. So if you're like me, you'll probably want to do it all. I've lived in the north. I've lived in the south. I've absolutely loved every moment of every bit of it. And I hope this has been helpful as you just try to think through these things. You're probably gonna have loads of questions as you digest this. You want to make sure that you're that you're asking questions and we're happy to do it whether you drop them here in the comments and we'll be I personally will respond to 100% of those comments or whether you send us a text message, phone call, email, whatever it might be, don't you forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be the first to know of any new videos that we have coming out. This is San Diego Neighborhoods, I'm Dan Beer. We'll just find you on the next one.